Hi everyone, welcome to the one hour plus mini brands extravaganza where we will open five balls of every single series of mini brands that was released to this date. You don't want to miss anything in this video because it's sprinkled with all kinds of cool stuff like comments, shout outs, mini brand stories and information regarding a big surprise I have for you. To find out the big surprise, you will have to watch the entire video because I'll announce it at a random point during the video. Okay, let's start with the OG of mini brands series one. This, uh, this brings back a lot of memories. I really, really wish I had videos of me opening series one, but unfortunately I don't. This is actually, I think the first time I'm filming myself opening series one. Okay. We got, the. um, I don't know honestly how to pronounce this. Is it, is it Barbasol? And some of them used to come in these small little plastic bags, which was pretty neat. I'm guessing it was to protect them. But yeah, this is the series one shaving cream. First mini from series one. Okay. And here we have the Warheads, Super Sour, the Apple. I think it's three types in total in series one. Okay. And here we have the Bosco Strawberry. Again, it comes in this little plastic sleeve to protect it. They, they don't do that anymore. I wish they did. Okay. And here we have an accessory. It would seem like it's the, the shelf, the shelving unit. And in the last pot, obviously we got the collector's guide and yeah, I remember this one, the Dinty Moore beef stew. This was, I think the, the, the chunkiest one, I guess of the, of the bunch. It was a pretty big mini. All right, I guess we're going to have to open this one now. If you're wondering, I got them from Amazon. That was where I found them to be the cheapest. Uh, eBay were running pretty, pretty high prices, to be honest. I never actually had a container like this. Uh, whenever I would buy the mini brands, it used to be like, in a, they were in the cases in Target and things like that. They're making this really difficult to open. Okay, and it's open. Just realized space is going to be an issue here, but we're going to figure it out. Seems like we're having a little bit of zipper issues. There we go. Whoops. Uh, this one was trying to get away. So let's see what's inside. It is just a Bosco strawberry syrup. Here, the collector guide, and underneath the collector guide, we have oh, nice the Mentos pure white Mentos gum, the soy sauce. I think there's a if I remember correctly, there's a gold version of the soy sauce. It would be really nice if we get some gold ones, right? And I think you're gonna especially appreciate if we get gold ones, and you're gonna find out why. Just stay tuned, okay? Oh, the bacon. I remember this was really hard to find, at least in my area. Uh, this is the black, the hormone black label bacon, bacon crumbs, crumbles. Sorry. <laughs> I think there was two or three kinds of bacon in the series. Oh no, never mind. It wasn't the beef stew. That was the chunky one. It was this one, the, the Chupa Chups container. Yeah, this is the biggest mini from series one. I mean, look at it. It's, it's pretty huge. By the way, do you guys want to know how I found out about mini brands in the first place? It was actually my younger sister that was watching people open, you know, mini brands on TikTok. I was like, what, what's that? And then she explained it to me. Two days later, I was in Target grabbing myself a energy drink and I saw them on the shelf and I thought to myself, let me just get one, see, see what these are all about. So here's a picture of the first ever mini brand ball that I purchased. So then two days later, I got two full cases, almost two cases. And to the best of my knowledge, five of the minis that are down there were the ones I got in the first ball I ever opened. Anyway, let's get back to opening these. Okay. Collector's guide. And we got the chili, Hormel chili with no beans. Okay, and here we got the Mentos, six rolls of Mentos. Let's see, is that the Pez? Yes, it is. This was another really 
Hard to find one. Uh, some stuff on it. Residual stuff from the manufacturer. Probably. I don't know. I'm just I'm just guessing. Another soy sauce. Well, what are you gonna do? And then in here we have two shopping bags. You know what? I think I'm gonna put them in here because we will run out of space eventually, so. There we go, that's better. I just realized that I have six of series one, so we're gonna put this to the side and open that tub. We can probably do something else with the other one. Maybe use it for a different project. I don't know, give it away or something. So the YouTuber in me wishes that the zipper was actually over here because that would really look good on camera, you know, unzipping like this. But see, it looks weird like this. And it also looks weird if I do it like this. That's strange. Another soy sauce, but this one is a bit different because there's two kinds or I think there's more, but there's one with the red cap, which we got before, and this is with the green cap. So they are slightly different. Oh, see, we were just talking about soy sauce. This is the other type of soy sauce, I guess. And then there's another one that I think it's like a gallon bottle of it. It's like a jug, but this is this is a really cool one, to be honest, like it's looking really good. Okay, and here we got the Skippy, Skippy, sorry, Super Chunk Peanut Butter. Another cool mini. The detail on this was and is pretty amazing. I don't know, I feel like Mini Brand Series 1 was a lot more detailed. You know, it was better produced than, than the latest ones we got. If you guys feel the same, let me know in the comments. Let's see, another Bosco Strawberry Syrup. I think we have like three of them or this is the third one something like that no really this is crazy guys we got the i was just talking about the soy sauces and how there's different kinds so with this we got all the soy sauces from series one and i think what what is it like four in total so out of four three we got in just one ball which is insane i can't believe this this is crazy all right, this is the last ball from series one. Hey, we got the moon pot. We got the banana one. I think there's the chocolate and then I'm not sure if there is a strawberry one, but I know there's the chocolate one for sure. Okay, chupa chups. Another soy sauce, which is crazy. I think these were pretty difficult to find, if I remember correctly. And now we're getting them everywhere. By the way, how many of you out there are collecting Series 1 right now? Because I realize not everyone heard about many brands from, you know, the first series that was released. So let me know in the comments. I'm curious to find out. Okay, another Mentos Pure White. And we reached the final pod of Series 1. Let's see what we got. Another strawberry Bosco syrup. Oh boy. So just in case you're wondering, I did complete the Series 1 collection and I made a video of me building a LED display case for them. I think it's a really cool video and you guys should check it out if you didn't already. I will leave the link for you in the description. Okay, so why don't we go with Series 2 next and see what we got. By the way, Series 2 was also purchased from Amazon. I couldn't find them cheaper anywhere else other than there. Let's see, first pot, we got the pickles. The dill pickles. You know what I'm thinking? I will just remove this thing from the inside because it's Series 1. And then this is where we're gonna put series two. Okay, and here we got the Velveeta. It's so weird to see some of them from series two, like the Velveeta, because this is actually part of series three, which is, yeah, I know, one of the issues we have with them, that they repeat minis and new series, which is not cool at all. 
Okay, and here we got the laughing cow. This was another really hard to find. And the collector's guide. Okay, let's see, bacon. I see bacon in there. I love myself some bacon right now. And here it seems like we have the Kool-Aid Jammers, which is another one that's repeating in series three. Again, not cool. Not cool at all, many brands. Okay, classic oatmeal. Maple and brown sugar. So series two was actually the first mini brand series that I started collecting and filming at the same time. So I still have videos from those. Some of them are pretty bad actually, but. All right, we have the lemonade in here. Crystal light lemonade. A collector's guide and that looks like um what do you pronounce it leer dammer light cheese which i cannot find in here anywhere i tried the you know international kind of like markets but nothing and the pepper mccormick black pepper and we got the milk the gallon of almond breeze Chocolate milk. Ow, that hurt. I hate it when that happens. When the, the zipper gets under your nail. Ooh, that sucks. And this sucks even more now. <laughs> there we go. Look at this. Oh, I'm just messing around. Let's see what we got. Come on, give us some gold ones. No gold. It's just the Almond Breeze chocolate milk. Okay, Creamy Alfredo from Classico. And a collector's guide, and I think this is, I don't know what it is, uh, <laughs> brown gravy from McCormick. And we got some cereal in here, honeycomb. I don't think it's glow in the dark. Nope. And some chicken soup, chicken stock, sorry. No chicken soup. Chicken stock. I mean, it's the same, isn't it? It's kind of like, yeah, chicken stock, chicken soup, almost the same. Chicken stock just has the liquid, I guess. Let me try something. This might be disastrous, but I'm gonna try it regardless. All right, ready? Oh, sh okay, okay. Almost knocked off my camera there. Um, <laughs> I tried. Let's see what we got in here. A accessory. It looks like it's the, um, what do you call it? A cash register, the checkout station. And we're going to put it in the bag like we did with the other accessory. Let me just grab it. I don't think this is going to go as smoothly as the other one. Starting to lose pieces one by one. Okay, come on, work with me. There we go. And now there's one on the floor. This little guy. Okay, moving on. Oh, look what we have in here. The baby bell. This guy's was so hard to find. I remember, yeah, looking for like crazy i opened so many to find it and nothing and then eventually when i did start finding it it was like everywhere i had so many of them but yeah and here we got uh what was this the a1 steak sauce sorry original sauce but it's, it's used on steak right mostly a1 is used on steak i don't know never put sauce on my steak i just you know pepper and salt that's about it 
Okay, and here it's the French's onions, the crispy fried onions. These are so good. I love these. And then here we got the Stubbs barbecue sauce. Let's have a look at it. Yep. All right, here's the last ball from series two. Oh, this, you know what this is, guys? Oops, hit the camera again. From when I built the display case for series one, I had these, you know, leftover. These were used to put the LED in. So I thought like to kind of like display the minis, I actually glued two minis here on the side to kind of like hold it in place, see? Yeah, this is what this is, if you were wondering. I know, I know, some of you are gonna say in the comments, why did you ruin two perfectly good minis to make this? But you know, it looked cool. Anyway, let's open this last ball of uh, Mini Brand Series 2. Wait a second, before we do, I have, a, I have a cool surprise for you. It's not the big surprise, but it's a surprise. Okay, so moving forward, I want to introduce this thing in every video, I think. And I'm gonna call this segment comment shout out. So it's pretty self-explanatory. I just want to add that you don't have to do anything for this other than just leave a comment for any of my videos. And there are no specific criteria I'm going by. Whichever comment, you know, is funny, heartfelt, cool, or just, I don't know, resonates with me in any way, I will give them a shout out in the next video. I hope that makes sense. If you have questions, just, just let me know in the comments, okay? So without further ado, this is comment shout out and today's comment shout out goes to Purple Heart 32. Oh, sorry. Purple Hearts 32 GB, which stands for Golden Boy, if you didn't know. I am a new subscriber and I love your videos. I want to start off by saying how truly refreshing it is to see a man that still has his inner child. To see you get so excited about many brands and other things shows you have such a joy for life and I love that about you. Most men think it's just for kids and girls and it's absolutely ridiculous, but you've given me hope to know there are men out there that can still have fun and let out their inner child. Thank you. That is really nice. Thank you PurpleHeart32 for leaving this comment. Yes, my principle in general is if I enjoy something, I am not going to stop doing it just because of social pressure or because, you know, there's this thing of like, oh, you're a certain age, you shouldn't do that or you shouldn't do this. No, if I enjoy doing something or watching, you know, certain types of movies or animated movies or even this, like collecting mini brands, I'm going to do it. I don't care what everyone else thinks. I'm going to do it because I enjoy it. Anyway. That was comment shout out. Like I said, if you want to have a shout out, all you need to do is just leave a comment. If it gets picked up, you're gonna see your comment in the next video. And I'm also gonna reply to it both by typing and in the video. Okay, so now let's open the last ball from series two. You know, I think I'm gonna lose my fingers by the end of this video. Not because of this, just because of opening so many and then also the zipper is not working properly. It is incredibly annoying. And I'm sure if you opened many brands before, you know what I'm talking about. This is the McCormick Cinnamon. Another great mini, in my opinion. Okay, and here we got the Stovetop Turkey. I think that's one of the most common minis from series two. It was like everywhere. Classic Ranch, also part of series three, unfortunately. But nonetheless, this is a really cool mini. The Mustard, also part of series three. Actually looks better than the ones from series three for some reason. I don't know, the colors are brighter or something, right? It's the card reader. I remember how it just didn't make sense um, for them to make. I think this is the blue card reader. And then there's also one that's literally reversed. Like there's blue here at the bottom and yellow at the top. I was like, why? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. All right. All right, that was series two. And if you're wondering, yes, I did complete series two. I do not have a display case for it yet. I'm just keeping them in this clear plastic organizer type of case for now. Let me show you. All right, so as I was saying, this is where um, series two resides at the moment. Let me open it and show you. This is the complete series two collection. Beautiful, right? 
So I do want to make a display case for uh, for series two as well, but I don't want to make the same one I did for series one. So if you have any ideas of how, you know, a display case for series two should look, please let me know in the comments. All right, let's go with Toy Mini Brand series one next. No way. Is, this is a gold one. <laughs> we got a gold one. The X shot. Do you guys hear that? There's a motorcycle just doing stupid stuff around here. This is a gold one. I don't even know how to like first ball, well, first pod we open, Toy Mini Brand Series 1, we get a gold one. That is really, really cool. We got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I have never, I opened some of the Toy Mini Brand Series 1, you guys remember, I have some videos on those. This was one of the minis that I really enjoyed from the list, but never got, so yeah, pretty cool. Okay, and here we got um, Stimpy. I don't know, everything, like even Series 1, the Toy Series 1, seems to have had a better quality than, you know, the later series they released. In here, we have the rainbow corns. Looking pretty dandy. And in here, we got the, what is this? The slime hyper blaster pack. Wait, no way. Are you serious? It's like, like a water gun, but with slime. This is insane. Can you imagine the mess you're making? Especially if, you're, if your kids, you know, are playing with this in the house. Oof. All right, we got some SpongeBob, looking good. I think this is, um, or was, one of the minis that that it was more rare or hard to find, I guess. Another toy, um, Hey Arnold. I'm guessing this is Arnold. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's in here? The Shimmer Shine. Wish come true. Her set. All right, what's in here? We've seen this one before. Oh, this is interesting. It looks a little bit more detailed than I remember it to be. Anyway, this is uh, this is Blaze. I got carried away there for a second. It says die cast. Obviously, this is not die cast. <laughs> that would be cool. And in here we got the little robot RC Mini. And as usual, the collector guide. Let's see, ball number three. Micro fast fill X shots. So is it like a nerf thing or is it like a water? I, I'm guessing it's water. Okay. And the collector's guide. And here we have Jojo. And here we got some slime. There we go. Uh, fingerlings. And half a crocodile thingy. <laughs> this is just this. This is the whole box. There's nothing else in there. I opened it in a in a previous video and yeah, I was pretty disappointed. But what are you going to do? Oh, well, I guess it's kind of like... That's how it's supposed to be. Never mind. Disregard what I just said, okay? <laughs> All right, now we have to open this one, which is good because we're going to use it to put them back in here. You know, put all the minis back in here. Don't worry, I'm being very careful. <gasps> God, this is annoying. Beautiful. Oh my god, that is a bit disgusting. There is a piece of hair underneath. Uh, yeah, well, you know, nothing can be perfect, but come on. And it's exactly where the zipper is, so. Ugh. There we go. Let's see what we got in here. Two bags. These are the toy. Oh, wait, they're not. 
Isn't the, the toy bag supposed to say toy mini brands on them? Or, or am I just not remembering it correctly? Okay, I think this is another, oh, this is not Blaze, this is Stripes. We got the, um, what do you call it, a hula hoop? I still don't know how to do this, by the way. Another rainbow corns. And smashers. And the collector's guide. So I know I promised that, you know, posting every two weeks, um, I'll do like different video angles and things like that. But the novelty of this video will not be new angles and things like that. It, it's just the fact that I'm opening every single series of mini brands. And also it's a one hour long video or more than that, probably. This is one of the things I can do because I'm posting every two weeks, you know. I don't think I would have been able to do this video if I didn't have two weeks to make it. I mean, we might be changing the angle at one point during this video, especially if I take a break and film a little bit more tomorrow. But um, anyway, this is the last ball from uh, the Toy Mini Brand Series 1. A accessory. Great. We're going to put it aside and then I'm going to put it in the bag at the end. Oh, I think this is Jojo once again. Yep. And the collector's guide. Crayola. A simple box with nothing inside, ladies and gentlemen. Another fingerlings. And no, there's nothing inside this. I opened it before in a video. I know you guys have seen the things on TikTok or maybe on YouTube where people open these and there's like a balloon. It's not. Listen, if they really want to do that the smart way, what they should do is no cuts in the video. Like from the moment you want to cut this up, like show all the sides and then cut it up with your scissors, but do not cut the clip itself. Like leave it be, don't edit anything. Anyway, I don't know why I'm bringing that up. <laughs> all right, next we're going to open the very hard to complete series three balls. Imagine if I get one of the minis that I need and one of these balls. That would be cool, right? If you're wondering, here are the minis that I need to complete my Series 3 collection. These are really hard to find for some reason, at least in my area. So yeah, hopefully I get lucky. We got the Barnum's Animals Crackers. Let's put these in here. Remember this one? I got it from Claire's. There was a promotion going on. I don't know if it's still happening, but if you get two mini brands products, you get one of these for free. I think you can also purchase it, but I ended up getting some minis and then I got this for free. And here we got the baby bell, the blue one. My hands are starting to look terrible from opening all these. So my apologies. Chupa Chups, best of. The Reese's in here, the Reese's cups. Did you guys see that new commercial where they say that like, if you're seeing this commercial, it's probably because your device is listening to you. That was pretty creepy, right? And an accessory. I really hope I can complete series three before the next series comes up because it's so hard and so annoying when there's a new series out and then you're still trying to complete the previous one. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that. Let's see another Barnum's exactly like the other one, right? It was in, in the same pod with the guide. And in here we have the Kool-Aid bursts. Swizzles crew chew, uh, chew crew. I always switch those around. And the Jolly Ranchers. In the last spot, we got Mike and Ike. Mm, almond Breeze. Almond Milk. And the Pez. By the way, you guys, I'm gonna go on a trip soon in June. I am going to St. Louis. 
It's basically like a road trip with the family. So I'm really hoping I can find some uh, some mini brands there and see, you know, because that's a different region, right? So maybe we are able to see um, a difference. Maybe if I get them from there, I'm going to get the ones that I'm missing. But if you guys um, if you guys want to follow along and you want me to, you know, kind of like document the trip, let me know in the comments. And in here we got the Warheads all mixed up. The Sweethearts. And one of my favorite cereals, the Golden Crisp. Another tub of swizzles. And I'm saying another because I have a lot of these. The Mentos. And here we got the Dum Dums. The Lemonade. Which is pretty good, by the way. And it's low calorie. Like whenever, you know, I don't have regular pop, I have a, a couple of these that will do for me. And another, <clears throat> excuse me, another golden crisp cereal. So right over here is the last ball from series three. And then we're going to move to the next series. Black pepper. Ah, Crystal Light Strawberry Lemonade. Another Reese's Cups. TGI Friday's Spinach and Artichoke Cheese Dip. I still didn't have this from the actual place. I just had the frozen version. Hmm, maybe on my way to St. Louis, I'm going to stop at a TGI Friday's and get one of these. All right, and here we are. Final pod from Series 3. And it's still a mystery. Ah, we got the Dosen Company Collagen. All right, up next is the Mini Brands Gold Rush. I really, really like this series. I have the complete collection and Daddy's Toys helped me with this. If you didn't know, we collaborated and sent each other a package that, among other things, had a mini that we needed to complete our collections. If you want to see what she sent me and what I sent her, you should check the description. I will leave the links to the videos over there. Again, just like with series two, I keep them in one of those uh, clear plastic organizer things let me show you all right see this is the uh, complete series uh, a gold rush series collection I really, really like this series. I do want to make a, a display case for these as well, but I, I don't know what type of display case can I make and I don't want it to be the same as series one. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments. Obviously in the Gold Rush series, everything is gold, but there's still the really rare ones and hard to find, which are rose gold. So let's see if we get any of those. All right, and here we got the Almond Breeze chocolate almond milk. Look at that gold. Isn't that awesome? So I don't have any other place to put these in and this is getting pretty crowded. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them in a white ball. Okay, we got the crystal light. It's as if these golden ones were actually made for me and my channel, right? I am the golden boy, so having gold minis was perfect. And I really had to complete this collection, you know? Uh, the Leerdammer original cheese, looking really nice. Okay, this is the blue diamond smokehouse almonds i wonder how did they make it so shiny like like there's no way it's real gold but um and this is plastic so i, I keep wondering how do they make it look so shiny you know i'm actually thinking about making a video where i turn regular minis into gold ones but i really want them to look like that like really shiny so that's pretty hard but if you guys want to see something like that let me know in the comments okay and here we got frank's red hot Ball number two. Mm, 
Hmm, this is the oh, old bay. Gold Rush, by the way, is actually the gold versions of um, some of the mini brands from Series 2. Okay, another Almond Breeze chocolate milk. Oh no, this is the other one. This is the unsweetened original. And we got the Laughing Cow. This is a cool one, isn't it? Mm, another Leerdammer. Original cheese. And another Blue Diamond Smokehouse. These are the Artisan Nothings. Another Laughing Cow. And then here we have the Baby Bell. This is one of the ones that is also comes in, in rose gold. It seems like this is just a regular gold. And is this the cream of tartar? Yes. Frank's Red Hot once again. Man, another one like this. Ah, Almond Breeze, unsweetened original. I don't even know why I'm getting sad because I'm, I have this collection. But still, it, it, it would be cool to get something more, you know, hard to find. Okay, one more Crystal Light Lemonade. And the Velveeta original. There was a thing somewhere around here. Yeah, look, <laughs> liquid gold. It's funny, right? Because that's what it says on the actual package. And then this is actual a, a gold packaging. Oh, the black pepper in gold version. And the fries. Oh, I could go for some fries right now. I'm getting hungry. I've been here for, for quite a bit opening these now. You guys are getting the simplified version of me opening the mini brands, but yeah, it's, it's been a while since I've, I've been at it. <laughs> are we gonna get lucky, get some rose gold? Not yet. Maybe there's a rose gold in here. Nope, just some cereal. I think it's the honey nut. No. I need bunches of oats. Oh, is that one a rose gold? No, it's just a regular one. And this is the cinnamon. Oh no, it's the, the Lori's seasoned salt. All right, last pod, last chance. Ah. Uh, Another one of those artisan nothings. I think I tried some of these. They're, they're, yeah, they're a bit too healthy. <laughs> Not for me. Oh, and by the way, this is the other one I made to hold uh, uh, the Gold Rush series. I glued this mini, which I had quite a bit of. Yes, as you can see, I did change the angle. I think this is better because now we got less. So uh, let's do... Uh, Toy Mini Brands Series 2 next. And the first pod we got Dora. Not very well made in my opinion. But oh well. I'm gonna put them right there in that bowl. Pod number two, we got Beat the Parents. That's an interesting uh, <laughs> name for a game. Oh, this is a new one. We got the the Lucky Charm, Lucky Fortune Cookie. That is interesting because I remember now someone asked me in the comments, like, when am I going to get or when am I going to cut open the fortune cookie? And I'm like, I don't think any series of mini brands has a fortune cookie, but apparently it does. So I was wrong. Interesting. I like this one. It looks really good. 
And here we got some bags. We got the Robo Live Dino Wars. Robo Live Dino Wars. And a collector's guide. Oh, this one is uh different. Oh, they just they just made it in half. That's not that's not cool. Come on. By the way, no, I'm not collecting the Toy Mini Brand Series 2. I'm just opening it because, you know, that's what I said. I'm gonna open all the series that are released to this date. First pod, we got the kitty cat. What's it called? Um, I don't know what's it called. It looks like a, like a cat, might be a bear. I don't know. No, it's a cat that has whiskers. <laughs> And then here, it seems like it's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um, weapons, like um, Raphael's Twin Psy. Twin Psy. No, that's... I, I had no clue that's what they're called. Okay, and here we got one of those magic potions. It's called uh, Potions Slam Surprise. And this is a bunch of balloons, um, the launcher. Oh, this is nice. We got the Mini Brand Series 3. And is this, uh, wait a minute, is this rose gold? It looks rose gold, but I don't know if that's part of... Let's just unravel one of these guides and see. We got a ultra rare rose gold Mini Brands Series 3 ball. Look at that. That is awesome. Notice I'm not getting that excited because, yeah, I'm not collecting them. But I like this one. I really like this one. Cool. See, it's another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, weapon. This is Leonardo's weapon. Um, Odachi sword? Odaki sword. Odachi. Odachi sounds more like it. it. Looks pretty cool. We got Raphael with his uh, weapons. I already forgot what they're called. Twin Psy. One of those boxes that has nothing inside. And then here we got some more rainbow corns, kind of like in the series one toy mini brands, only this is a different type. And a accessory. This is really hard to put in there, but we did it. All right, so now we're going to do something like this. Because in here, there's two more. And this is the only way I could find them on Amazon. It just made sense to get these two because they were cheaper and then get three more separate. Hopefully we got the correct ones. Yep. By the way, one thing I really like about this series is how they made the balls. Where it's like two different colors it just looks cool right whereas the other ones are just everything is just one color i wonder if they just experimented with this new thing or maybe they wanted all of them to be pink but then they saved on cost because they probably had pods from different series you know all right let's see we have the trackball classic interesting so here's what we're going to do. Because I'm running out of space in this little bowl, I'm just going to transfer all of them into this box. So then this is where the Toy Mini Brand Series 2 will go in. Fingerlings, Tux. Really cool mini, very detailed. You can actually pull him out of there and he has his little skateboard. Yeah, really, really good mini. Wait, what? Oh, never mind. Looking from this angle, it, it looked as if there were two skateboards in there, but no, it's just, it's just the, not skateboard, sorry. Looking from this angle, it looked like there were two surfboards in there, but it's just one. All right, and here we got SpongeBob. We got Patrick from SpongeBob. There's a gold version of this. Maybe we're gonna find it. And in here, we got Metal Machines. We got a small little car in there, but it's not very detailed. Kind of bad, <laughs> to be honest. 
So this is the last ball and um, my, my battery is pretty low. So I'm going to have to stop after this one. Maybe the angle will be a little bit different because I can't set it up exactly, exactly the same. Another one of those um, Build-A-Bear workshop thingies. Oh, this is a different one. Mugs or hugs. I think it's hugs. <laughs> Why would I even say mugs? It's it's definitely hugs, right? I think so. Yeah, hugs for sure. Okay, and here, let's see, we got more Ren Stimpy. Another Dora. Let's see, does this one, oh, this one looks a little bit better. She's kind of dirty. Or scratched, I don't even know. Oh, Care Bears. Nice. Why did it look so, I don't know, scratched? It's like the paint is peeling off, right? Ah oh, man, another accessory. Let's put this in a um, Ziploc bag and then I'm gonna take a quick break until my battery charges. But you will not be able to tell because, you know, that's the magic of editing. It's like it never even happened. It's like I've been filming continuously. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, I think I'm ready to reveal the big surprise. So after I'm finishing opening all these balls, I'm going to have a lot of minis. And honestly, I don't think I'll be able to list them on eBay. So I decided to do a giveaway. We got eight different series over here, and that means eight giveaways. So if you want to win one of these series, this is what you need to do. First, you need to subscribe if you're not already subscribed and like the video. Second, leave a comment for this video whatever you want just make sure to include the word giveaway in it and also what series you want yeah that series doesn't exist yet sorry buddy or does it and finally the third thing you need to do and this is really important you need to send me an email and this is mostly so that i can contact you afterwards if you win there's been a lot of times when I did giveaways and people didn't get back in touch with me, so this is a sure way for me to reach out to you. I'm sorry, but if you don't do all these three things, I cannot include you in the draw. Now, just a couple more notes. You need to be 18 or older to participate. This is a worldwide giveaway, so anyone is welcome to participate. You have 48 hours to do all the things I mentioned, so that will be until Monday 8 a.m. Chicago time. Only one comment per person will enter the draw. You can leave multiple comments, but just one will enter the draw. And the eight winners will be picked randomly. So all these giveaway rules and details are also in the description box. If you're watching this video at a later time and missed the giveaway, I still have some good news for you. I'll be doing this again, so just subscribe and turn your notifications on if you want to be part of it. That's about it. I wish you all the best of luck. Now let's get back to opening these last two series, which is mini fashion and Disney store so that we can see what minis you will get if you decide to um, pick one of these series. Oh, by the way, if you don't have any preference and would like to win any of the series, just make sure you mention that in the comment. You don't have to necessarily pick one of the series. All right, let's do mini fashion next. I really like this series. I'm not collecting them, but I think they're pretty cool. I still do not agree with the pets being under the accessories category on the collector's list, but yeah. I'm glad most of you agreed with this in the comment section. Okay, this is one of the most terrible balls I ever opened. It really doesn't want to come off. Honestly, I don't even know where to put these. Put the accessories in here and then the purse is just laid over here. I don't know. So again, you got the collector's guide. Well, here are the accessories we got. We got some lipstick, pair of glasses, and this thingy. Oh, this is nice. I think I already got this in a previous video where I opened, but yeah, it's one of those um, pink ones. That I know there's one in gold like this. All right, let's open the next one. This one opened a lot easier than the other one. The other one was terrible. Look at that. That's how all of them should be. All right, let's see, we got some perfume. Uh, we got this little thing, forgot what's it called. And I think this is foundation. It's a nice little mirror over there. And then obviously the sticker, which is interesting. This is exactly the bag we got in the previous ball. Oh, 
another one. <laughs> oh, this is a double. Right off the bat, we got a double, guys. It doesn't look good, but uh, what are you going to do? All right, some more perfume, glasses, and this is, I think, lip gloss. Yes. All right, and then for the sticker, once again, we got the same one. So hopefully this is not gonna have the same bag in it. No, it doesn't. It's a different one. Looks pretty cool. Not as good as some of the other ones, but yeah, it's still a good bag. By the way, are you guys excited about the big surprise that I just announced? Or did you expect it something else? Let me know in the comments. I'm really curious. I think a giveaway of, you know, 25 minis of every single series that was released. I think that's a pretty cool surprise, right? <gasps> no, I mean, I'm glad I got the dog, but it is not an accessory. We keep getting the same sticker, man. What's going on? Anyway, we got the sticker. We got this little brush. Um, we got more glasses. And we got a little puppy. Which is not an accessory, okay? It's just a little puppy. Oh, nice. I got this one before, but it's, it's pretty darn nice. This is a real bag as opposed to the other one. I didn't like that one a lot, but this one is cool. It has a little magnet in here and in here to kind of like keep it you know, shut. Yep, good one. I like this one. Now that you guys know the surprise, I can freely talk and say that I wish, you know, we get a really nice one in this so that, you know, you guys can get some nice minis. Um, wait a minute. Yeah, this is the last one. I thought I thought there's more of the mini fashion. They're so easy to to open and it's so fast that, you know, you'd think that there's more, but nope. This is the last ball of mini fashion. Let's see if you guys are lucky. Okay, that's it. Finally, we got a new sticker. And then for accessories, we got a brush. Another one of these things, just a different color and some more perfume. Uh, I think you guys, I was going to do a one, two, three, but I think some of you might have seen the color already. Either way, one, two, three. It is a green bag. Is this rare? I don't think so, right? Mm, is there anything that's rare? Yeah, there is. <gasps> Wait a second. Nope, it's not. It's the green one. It looks kind of the same, but it's the green one. It's still a cool bag. Honestly, out of all of them, I think this is this is my favorite. I think I did want a green bag. I, I when I opened Mini Fashion for the first time, I did mention that like I would I would like to get this one because it looks really good. Uh, there's a little bit of damage here, but it's not too bad. Okay, so these are all the bags we got. Next, we're gonna move to Disney Store, but first, let me do some housekeeping here. All right, last but certainly not least, we have the Disney uh, Mini Brands, which is the latest release from Mini Brands. Uh, let's see what we get, or rather, let's see what you guys get. <laughs> All right, my fingers hurt at this point, and honestly, if I get another one of these pieces underneath my nail, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get really pissed. So I need to be really careful, and I'm probably gonna have to use tools for this. There we go. Okay, first pod, we got a box. Just an empty box, something with Mickey Mouse, but yeah, not a very cool one. Oh, we got the Minnie Mouse telephone. And here we got the Beep Up or Bo Peep. I keep missing that name. And here we got someone from Marvel, Black Widow. And 
friend. Uh, let's see. This is Anna from Frozen. By the way, if there's anyone of you out there that is watching this video and haven't seen my other videos, um, there's a couple where I actually take the Disney mini brands and open them, like actually pull them out of their packages, you know, the actual minis. So if you want to, if you're interested to see, you know, how do they come out, how to get them out or which ones can you get out without damaging the package, you should definitely check out the video. It's on my channel. All right. And here we got Princess Aurora. Oh, look at that shine on her neck. She got some gold over there. Hey, we got Baby Yoda. That is really neat. I like this mini. Mm, another Black Widow. That ain't good. That ain't good for you guys because whoever picks this series, they have a chance of winning exactly the minis we're pulling out right now. Oh no, another one. I'm sorry, you guys. And in here, it seems like we got Snow White, but she doesn't want to come out. It really jammed it in there. There it is. Okay, another Star Wars, another box, should I say. I really wish you guys would get really good ones in, in the remaining pods because, yeah, I want you guys to get the best minis ever. Let's see, a bag, a tote bag with a uh, Minnie Mouse on it. Are you serious? Another box of, I don't know, Mickey Mouse. Let's see, kitchen playset. And, and here we got Flynn Rider. Looking good. And the last pod, we got Lightning McQueen. This is a nice mini, but um, on the other side of the car, there's actually no paint, so it's just, just, you know, red. Like I said, I opened a lot of these, so if you didn't see the video, go check it out. You're gonna see exactly how the mini looks out of the box. Okay, it seems like Buzz is in the house. Buzz Lightyear. I don't know how was it, but when I opened, you know, the full case of these, I got so many gold ones and rare ones and things. It seems like we're not getting any of that right now. I mean, there's still hope. We still have a few pods. Oh, look who's here. Jesse. Jesse joins the party. And Mickey Mouse is back again. This time with a more, you know, nice mini. It's the um, remote control car. Another Snow White. And in here, oh, I think this is rare. I think this is really rare. Let's check one of the collector's guides, because if it is, I'm really happy for you guys. Yes, it is. It's the gold stormtrooper. Look at that. Number seven. So again, I mentioned the details about the giveaway a few minutes ago. Uh, make sure you do all those three things if you want to win. I mean, for a chance to win one of the series. And if you want the Disney ones, just make sure you include giveaway and the word Disney in your comment. And you will be taking all those plus whatever's in that ball in the gold stormtrooper. Look at that. It is a stormtrooper, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan. I like Star Wars, but not not as big as other people, you know. Okay, so I'm really, really glad you guys got a rare one, the gold stormtrooper. I'm curious to see what's in here. Maybe there's going to be another gold one. Who knows? By the way, these are opening really nicely. Like the zippers come off really easy. Let's see. Who is this? We have here Alice. This type of mini in the Disney series, it's one of the most detailed ones, the, you know, the animators collection. They look really good. And even if you pull them out of this, they will look pretty good as well. They have like a, a little stud here in the back. But other than that, these are looking great. Okay, and here we have Princess Rapunzel. Another 
Star Wars box, which we don't need. Please quit with the boxes, mini brands. I don't think anyone likes these, so <laughs> yeah, just, just don't make them anymore. Another tilt bag with Minnie Mouse. And in the last pod that we're going to open in this video, in the last pod of Disney Mini Brands, we are getting a, or you are getting a, I keep saying we or me, but it's you guys. These are for you. I think this is, yep, this is the beast from Beauty and the Beast. All right, here we are. We opened every single series of mini brands ever released. These are the fingers I used to open right the zippers. Look how red they are compared to these ones. They kind of hurt, but it's fine. Anyway, one hour video. Don't forget about the giveaway. If you enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like, um, subscribe and turn on no notifications so that you know, you're being notified whenever I post a new video. I'm gonna go get some food. I'm hungry. I'm a bit tired. I'll see you guys in the comments. As usual, you guys stay golden until the next one. Bye bye. Well, hello there. If you are still here, thank you for watching all the way till the end. Here are some funny things and other interesting, you know, short clips of what happened during the filming of this video. Enjoy. Zipper zipper issues. Come on. Oh, was that it? Okay. <laughs> zipper alert. Bad zipper alert. Oh God. Oh. But I never, this was one, this is one. Oh, what's wrong with me today? I don't know what I was going to say there. <laughs>